What's up guys, Fireplace Carter here, and welcome to another challenge video with my girlfriend. You Hi. may remember you may mem remember her from my one of my Harry Potter videos. I think. Hi. And uh go check her channel out obviously. Shall I um introduce what we're doing? Yeah you Okay, so we're going to be doing a bean boozle challenge. Oh god. <laughs> Help and me. I'm going to ask some questions and we're going to take it in turns. If we get the question wrong, we have to choose a bean boozle. If we get it right, then you get a point, basically. And you guessed it, guys. We are doing a Harry Potter quiz. And if I get them wrong... You get them wrong. If I get them wrong... Um, he has to get I, a I have to get a bean. Boozled. Yeah. Kill me. Don't kill him. Um, so, shall we start? Uh, you know what? YOLO. <laughs> All you 12 year olds out there know what I'm on about. Shall we start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start, okay. start, start. First question. Yes. You are a brilliant skep. You are a little scary sometimes. You know that. Brilliant but scary. Who is Ron giving this awkward compliment to? Um, she gave that. He gave that. Uh, he gave that compliment to uh, Hermione. Yes. In the what? Cause... In the what? In what one is it? In in the Philosopher's Stone, you no, know. No, it's not the Philosopher's Stone. No, you know when. Oh, just get on with that. No, it, it was the first one because. Um, Do you mean Sorcerer's Stone? That's American. Oh, never mind. Just get on with it. Well, for all you Americans, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for all you Americans, it's called Sorcerer's Stone. For British people, it's called Philosopher's, Philosopher's Stone. Stone. Mm -hmm. And um, and you know when I think it's when they're in the. Uh, you know when they're uh, searching for uh, Professor Quill, or they went yeah okay, uh, after it. they went past <laughs> this devil snare. Um, no, no, not that bit where um, Hermione knocked out Neville. Yeah, let's just get yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your question now. Right. Do you want to... <laughs> This is awkward. Do you, you know how to hold a camera? Yeah, I do. Good. Right. What object must be caught in order to end a Quidditch match? It's a little flyy thing. Yes, you The close. snitch. Yes. Yes. But what? What? The what? Golden snitch. snitch. Yes. Yes. I'm probably going to lose at every other question now because that's the only one I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is too easy. When Oliver Wood, the captain of the Gryffindor Quidditch team, oh, crap. is explaining the rules to Harry, what is the first ball he shows Harry? Oh, crap! Dun, dun, dun! No! It's been a while since I watched the damn film. Um, the first ball Oliver shows him. Yeah. Um, is it the quaffle? Yes! Oh, thank God! <laughs> God, it's too easy. We're not going to have any jelly beans at this rate. Okay. Right. Okay. If we get half a question right, that means we don't have to have one. Yeah. If we don't, if we if don't. You get only get right half the question right, you still get half a point. Yeah. We 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 organised this. We totally forgot what we we're doing. Um. Yes, there can be no light without a dark. Without a dark, and so it is with magic. As for myself, I always strive to live within the light. Who says this? And which movie is it from? I know who it's who says it, but I don't know the movie. Yeah, but you have to say who said it. Slughorn. Yes. And which movie? So, uh, Half Blood Prince. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I think that's a funny thing. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That, that is one for you for your fire fireplace cutter bloopers. <laughs> Did I just get it right? Yeah. I don't yeah. care if you call my laugh fake. Even in the wizard 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 uh, wizarding world, you even English? hearing voices isn't a good sign. Who said this, and which movie is it from? Hermione Granger said this to Harry mm -hmm. right after the Dueling Club. So, what film? Um, Chamber of Secrets. Yes. <laughs> yes. I I am a boss at this. I've watched Harry Potter like a thousand times. You need to actually get in the video. In, in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, what colour is Tonks' hair when we first meet her? Tonks? Which one was Tonks? Is it purple? Yes! 
Woo! Yes, it's purple. Okay, take the. Okay. In The Prisoner of Azkaban, Professor Lupin played music in his class. What did he play the music on? Oh, God. Ten. No, I'm he, he, You can count down. Ten. Um, he, Nine. He played it on eight, like a recorder thing, seven, like a disc six, thing. Five. Like four, a needle. Three. Two. No, a needle. One. It's a needle. No, it's not. What? what it's a record it? player. Oh, damn it. I don't know the old fashioned things. Oh, well, I need to take a bean. First bean of the video. And we were already like five minutes. I can't even get the. Crap. <laughs> Guys, I hope you're okay. <laughs> um, you need to show them what you've got. Yeah. Oh, God. I can have a look what it is, though, I, can't I? I? I dread to guess what this is. I can have a look, though, can't I? No. This is Lucky Dip for a reason. Ooh. What was that one? I don't know. <laughs> okay, you'll go. Tastes like... Hold on. Now, this is when I do get to look at it. He's having a look, guys. Uh, I got buttered popcorn. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Ah! Okay. Damn, it, son. It, it, it's getting harder. Um, okay. To begin filming, a script it required the task of adapting the immensely popular book series by J.K. Rowling for big screen. For the big screen. Mm -hmm. Went to screenwriter Steve Cloves. He wrote the script to seven out of eight of the films. However, for one of the instalments, he wasn't available, so Michael Goldenberg stepped in. He gave voice to new characters such as the horrible Dolores Umbridge, the quirky Loon Lovegood. Which film did he write a screenplay for? Is it Order of the Phoenix? Yeah. Harry Potter and the Order of the yeah. Phoenix. Yes. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm surprised you got that one. You never watch special features. No, this buttered popcorn is nice. Okay. Um, Question nine. With the fitting tangling, whatever that is, what? let the magic begin. The first movie in the Harry Potter franchise, entitled Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, was released in tw 2001. Directed by Chris Columbus, this movie introduced the viewers to the magical world of Harry Potter. The trio Harry, Ron and Hermione speculated what that Snape, who acts suspiciously, wanted to steal the Philosopher's Stone. However, they eventually found out that the man behind the plot was Professor Quirrell, <laughs> who shared his body with Lo Lord Lold. Lord, Lord? <laughs> Who's Lord? Lord Voldemort. Why did Lord Voldemort want the stone so badly? Oh, God. Is it to try and bring himself back? Like to try and Ten, bring, nine, try to bring himself eight, back from the dead. Seven, he wants to get more powerful. He wanted more power. That's all he cared about. Of eight, seven. So six, he wanted more power. Five, he, he wanted four, to be the most powerful three, wizard of all time two, to kill one, to try and kill Harry. Zero. What was it? The stone could restore his power and grant him immortality. Oh crap, just give me a bean. So I just I'll just choose you one, yeah? Oh god. This is guys, this is this is not good. Okay. Right, what 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 poisonous beverage did you give me? Uh Oh god, it's another I mean, I I don't know if you can see the colour of that, but to me with my own eyes, it looks like a yellow. Okay, just do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you want to check what it is? <laughs> <laughs> what colour was it? It was yellow, you said. Is it the new one? Rotten egg. Mm. <laughs> no! <laughs> he got rotten egg, guys. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> you need to put likes on for that. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm doing this for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, 
I don't know which We're number ten. We're on. Number ten. Number ten. Number ten. <laughs> nah, that's gross. Spy it out, guys. <laughs> in, in, Harry, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, <laughs> <laughs> Professor McGonagall teaches the second years a spell to turn animals into water goblins. What is the incantation? Something. Ferverto. Something like that. Yes! Ferver. You said it. Oh. You said it how McGonagall said it as well. Oh. That's a bonus. Ferverto. <laughs> One, two, three. Ferverto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well here, guys. Oh, I haven't even eaten. Out of Harry I'm doing well here, guys. Um, I haven't even eaten one yet. Well, good for you. I, <laughs> I can still <laughs> take a raw egg. Ferverto. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need a drink after this. Who is the defence against a dark arts teacher in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban? Ten. Uh, Professor Lupin. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm safe. You, I'm going to say you got that because it's you got the surname. <laughs> you got the surname. Remus Lupin. Yes. I'll still I'll let you have that anyway. Okay. Oh my god. Guys, we're in 11 minutes into the video and I'm already regretting it. Alas, the only object you could photograph was on the main floor of the museum. In which movie did the bewitched Ford Angela play a large role? Ford Angela. You know, flying car. Oh, that's, um, Secrets. Um. You got half the. Chamber of Secrets! Yes! Yes! Why am I doing so well here, guys? Because you picked the most easiest questions of all time. We'll do another one after this, if you like. Yeah. If we don't eat all of them, that is. <laughs> In which movie do Fred and George Weasley fight each other, rolling around on the floor as they sprout long beards? This was in Goblet of Fire. Which year? Which year? This, so, is, this is an extra point. If you get this year, it's an extra point. Which year? So, year one, year two, year three, year four. Yeah, but what month was it done? Oh, come on! Is that even part of the question? Yeah, you got the right answer, but then it's got in brackets the year. Oh, blimmin' hell. Do I still need a bean for this? No. Oh, thank God. I already had a... Shall we just leave the one. bit? Uh, the year. Uh, uh, the year? Mm. This was in 2008? Nope. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 2005. 2005, alright. Yeah. God, I'm a, I'm a hardcore Harry Potter fan. I don't even know what the year it was done. I don't think I'm going to get this question. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. Finally get the payback. In the second movie, who says this? Celebrity is as a celebrity does. Remember that. You have Dobby? To get... Nope. Damn it! Gilder or Lockhart. Damn! It's Gilder or Lockhart. Damn it! Where does it say that? In the answer? Right, I'm going to have to choose. There, there was multiple choice. I said Dobby. Yeah, but that's wrong. You only get one chance. <laughs> there. Please taste what Oh, I've got a black one. Oh, God. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I've got a black one, guys. Rip. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Ready? Yep. Pack her up. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> what did you get? What did you get? Did you get canned dog food? No, I think I've got a skunk spray. Oh, <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! Also, how do they know what skunk spray tastes like? Uh, yeah, Emma's dying. <laughs> <coughs> I've got to get rid of that. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be back, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, please leave a like because we're doing this for you. This is my punishment for not recording for a week. This is <laughs> actually not for a week, I haven't recorded for a while actually. Not since my. <laughs> you you alright? I was doing well as well. <laughs> yeah, here's the aftermath.
in the aftermath. <laughs> I think she's dying. You ready to carry on? Yeah, oh, that was horrible. How do you think I felt with the rotten eggs? How do, how do you think I felt with the rotten eggs? What's worse, skunk spray or rotten egg? Well, it's a bit of a 50-50. <laughs> It's a bit of a 50-50. Like, Sorry, guys, I don't, that was that, disgusting. This is why I don't eat egg. <laughs> that was disgusting. Right. Wait, who did the question last? Wait, it's your turn, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. No, because I did... I had to get... A oh, thing, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's your turn. <coughs> <coughs> Rupert Grint, the actor... Oh, I need the beans, don't I? Yeah. Who plays Ron in the movies is similar to his character in what aspect? Uh. I remember he he said he was like terrified of uh, Alan Rickman, um, the same way as Ron is terrified of Snape. So he said he drew a picture of a, a very fascinating picture. Of yes, Snape, but a stick man. Rupert Grint, the actor who plays Ron in the movies, is similar to his character in what aspect? Uh, he says bloody hell a lot. Uh, horrible. Five, four, I don't three. Know. Pass. One of his great fears is spiders. Oh my god! How did I not? Oh my god! This is. Why don't we just choose for each other in the beans? I just. Oh. Oh, I got brown. This can go one or two ways. Good or bad. This can go. This is gonna either be canned dog food, or. The other one. Licorice, I think. The other, the other one. one is. No, licorice is black, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, maybe it is. Did you show it to them? Okay. Three, two, one, <laughs> go! <laughs> Which one is it? That's canned dog food. <laughs> get some paper or get that tissue. Nah. Nah, that, that Man, is, that's that is grim. rank. Okay. <laughs> Screw that. Okay. Guys, remember, I'm doing this for you. Please leave a like and subscribe. Because you'll see more challenges like this. Okay. Oh, I oh, need wait. to hold the phone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not your cameraman. <laughs> uh, who delivers Baby Harry to Dumbledore in Privet Drive at the start of the movie? That's the first one, isn't it? Yes. Hey, great. Yes. Woo! Rubius Hagrid, the key... The gra wait, what? Rubius Hagrid. <laughs> He's not James Bond. I'm, get, I'm doing really well with this, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Ready? It was easier at the start. It was literally just questions about... I only had one, then, Bean. I had three. You both realise, of course, that in the past few hours you have broken the perhaps a dozen school rules, which two characters have astonishingly broken and dozen rule, a dozen rules. It's Dumbledore. He said that. In Zembra Secret. Yeah, but who broke the rules? Harry and Ron. Yes, well done. Because Harry's father had a knack for getting himself in trouble. My son. Yeah. Um, right. Pardon what? me. Oh. Okay. Sorry. What type of broom does Malfoy give to all the Slytherin players in order to make the team? Why have I got Nimbus 2000 in my head? Is that correct? No. You got the name right, but you got the year wrong. Oh, damn. Nimbus 2001. Damn it! <laughs> Where's the beans? No! Alright, the beans are here. Hold that. God, bottoms up. <laughs> bottoms up. <laughs> Oh my god. I've got a yellow one. Uh oh no. <laughs> oh, Guys I've got no. a yellow one. Oh no, I, I don't like where this is going. <coughs> what was that one? Was that rotten egg? Yep. <coughs> now you see how I feel. Oh, she's gone again. She she's gone. She she's gone. She is gone. 
she is gone. <laughs> we really should have got a bin for this. That's the second worst one in a row. What, what uh, one? Oh yeah, you had skunk spray last time. <sighs> this is going really well. <laughs> She, she was like... Well, I know this video hasn't been really entertaining. But it's just entertaining. Watching me and Emma so fat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, you know how I feel. <coughs> Emma. <coughs> that's how I felt when I ate the first one. That was disgusting, guys. <laughs> the way you just pop up on the screen like, hello. Time. Oh, no, wait, wait hold, what? No, no, you read the question out. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting about that. When Ron is talking to Harry, he says, You must be the youngest seeker. Harry continues by saying, What? Ten. Oh. Nine. So, wh what eight. did Ron say again? You must be the youngest seeker. Ten. Nine, eight, Hello. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I didn't even get the chance to answer. Oh, sorry. Did you say he'll make a fool of himself? No. We're doing a video. No, he didn't say that. What? He said he'd make a fool of himself if he was the seeker. No, he didn't. What did you say then? In a century, according to McGonagall. Oh, no! No! Oh, God. <coughs> oh, boy. Hold this. It might not be the rotten egg, it might be the other one. What was the other one? I'm scared to even know. Is it rotten egg? <laughs> Again! Again, with the rotten eggs! I'm getting all the worst ones! Okay. God. Kids, do not try this at home. Uh, the ones who love us never really leave us. Who, who says this and which movie is it from? If I get half of it, do I still get a point? No, you have to get the whole thing. Do you want is me it Snape? Serious Snape? No, it weren't Snape. You sure? Is Snape your final answer? Yeah. No, but it wasn't Snape. It was serious. Oh, fiddlesticks! In At the end of Prisoner of Rathman, he says to Harry, the ones who love us never truly <sighs> leave us. <laughs> How can you not? I couldn't remember that. Right. I need to do my bean first, don't I? Yeah, I do your bean. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I'd buy this beanie for the sake of the video, guys. I bought the beans. No, I said beanie. I said wearing a beanie for this video. I've got a white one. Oh, no. Wait. I've got a white one, guys. I swear the white one is normally like baby wipe or something else. Got a white one. <laughs> You're lucky that didn't hit the floor. I've got a white one. Worse. You ready? Yeah. Three, three, two, one. one. Good one, bad one. Quite a nice one, actually. Oh, that now we're getting it. Coconut. That now we're getting it. I got coconut, guys. It's quite nice, actually. Oh, it's a coconut. Mm, I enjoyed that. I can smell that. Well, I don't know. Right, my go. Yeah. What siblings of Ron Weasley have speaking role in The Deathly Hallows Part 1? What member of the Weasley family has a speaking role? What siblings role? of Ron Weasley have a speaking role in The Deathly, Deathly Hallows Part 1? Oh, is it uh, Bill Weasley? And? There's Bill. Mm-hmm. Um, Fred. Mm -hmm. George. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ginny. Yes, got it right. Yes. Okay. Alright, your question now. Well, 
my question to read to you. In almost all the seven movies, J.K. Rowling hinted that Harry and Voldemort were somewhat alike. Why does Harry and Lord Voldemort seem to have common traits? Ooh. Sound like a Dementor then. Ooh. Ooh. Your mouth when you pretend to be a Dementor. Ooh, Dementor, Dementor, ha ha ha. <laughs> um, yeah. Did you pay attention to your question? Uh-huh. Wait, sorry, read it again. Alright. In almost all the seven movies, J.K. Rowling hinted that Harry and Voldemort were somewhat like. Why does Harry and Lord Voldemort seem to have common traits? I can pass, but that means I have to take a bean boozled. Yes. Do you, do you want to pass? I'm going to pass this one. Alright. Risking it for a biscuit, I see. You risking it for a biscuit? I'm risking it for, for a, a biscuit. biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, can you get that for my finger, please? Ooh. Can you hold on to that for me? That's either good or bad. Okay, I've got like a <laughs> peachy, pinky, coloury one. What, let me see. Yeah, it's kind of peachy pinky, isn't it? What sniff it? No, you Three, can't sniff it. You have to two, go down the hatch. One. Good, bad. <coughs> That's disgusting. What was it? I got the bath one. <coughs> Oh God! <laughs> this is getting worse. Th this is just getting worse and worse at this point. Ah! Uh. Th this is just uh. getting worse. <coughs> that was oh, I'm, nasty. I'm a, I'm a dying. Oh, Green. what's that? Something outside. <coughs> oh, I thought that was the jelly bean. I thought that was the aftertaste. Like. I think the aftertaste is more worse when you put it actually, when you actually bite into it. Mm. Back in two thousand, by the way, guys, that was the year I was born. Sorry, I had to say oh, that. Don't say that. <sighs> After a long search and casting calls all over Britain, the filmmakers of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's or Sorcerer's Stone were finally able to announce the names of the three then unknown young actors playing Harry Potter and his two best friends, Ron and Hermione. As this was the first film of the series, they also needed to cast every other part too. Though not as though not as newsworthy, this included yes. some of Harry's closest family and relations. Which of these characters wasn't cast for the first film? They did appear in later instalments. Uh, I can I read them out or Yeah, you can read them out. If there are any Is it like an A B C or D answer? Is yeah. it like multiple choice? Yeah. Right. Can I read them out if they're more? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the, A, Harry's mother, Lily. B, Harry's father, James. C, Harry's cousin, Dudley. Or D, Harry's godfather, Sirius. Um, well, Dudley was very rarely in part one. He's in the deleted scene, but he's not actually in the movie. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say Dudley. Dudley. All right, it, it was Dudley because there's a deleted scene in Harry Potter where they have a handshake. In Death Hours Part 1, there's Death Yeah, but it's not, it's not Dudley. What do you mean, it's not Dudley? It's not Dudley. You said Death Hours Part 1? Yeah. He didn't have a role in that. He was in Deleted hold on, Scene. Hold on, No. Uh, oh. I who, did, did who not was it then? It was um, Harry's Godfather. Oh, serious? Serious. Oh, no, wait. Okay, down the hatch we go. Down the hatch we go. Like you I know. I think we'll do the these last two. Yeah. We could do it on another Ooh. one, can we? Ooh. What colour was it? You didn't show them. Oh, crap. What colour was it? It's like a... I think this is... Toothpaste? Don't have a toothpaste one. Tootie free? What colour was it? Was it pink? I don't know, I just went down the hatch. <laughs> if it was pink, it would be a tutti fruity one. Well, it's too late now. It has like a... Is it too late now to say sorry? It, it has like a... Uh... 
Yeah, it's two, three. Yeah. I know it was. Okay, I'm, I need right. <laughs> You need the phone. Hold All on. All right, guys, this is going to be the last one, and then we're going to end the video here. Well, for this one, anyway. For this Bean Boozled Challenge. Okay. All right. The second movie in the Harry Potter octology, released in 2002... I need some chocolate was, after this to get the taste out. ...was mind. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets with the tagline, The Chamber of Secrets have been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. This movie told the mystery and dark history of the secret chamber that housed the monster. Many unwanted incidents happened to, at Hogwarts, where several students were being attacked and petrified. Professor McGonagall even feared that Hogwarts needed to be closed if there were, were any more attacks by the terrifying monster. What was the monster that resided in the chamber? It was a snake, wasn't it? It was a snake, yeah, but what kind of snake? The one that speaks parcel tongue. There's no snakes that speak parcel tongue. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Wasn't it the one that, um... Oh, jeez. This is hurting my brain. I'll give you a clue. It's the thing that Harry killed. Do you want to pass? Yeah. It was a basilisk. Ah! All right. Final bean of the video. Please, please get a nice one. <laughs> please! My fingers... Arms and legs are crossed. They, they are literally crossed. If I don't get a nice one, I'm going to not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the last one, that'll be a bombshell of the day. This is like the longest video I've ever done. <laughs> it's I mean, a greeny, yellow coloured. <laughs> oh, no. I, I have a feeling. Is this I'm one, not, guys? I'm Ready? Not gonna, I'm not going to say. Just for a banter. Three, two, two one, one. Down, down the hatch. hatch. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, I know what this one is without looking at it. What? Cut grass. <laughs> Not that bad. Lawn clippings. Oh! That's bad. Yeah. That's, that's bad because who <laughs> eats grass apart from cows? <laughs> and rabbits. Well, any, uh. any animal that eats grass. <laughs> right, guys. That's going to deal... To, uh, that's going to uh, consider... Today's video, a bang, big bang theory. Um, Jinx. <laughs> you, you never even said it. I know. Um, so we're going to put this video at a stop. If you want to see more challenges like this, please leave a like because we have to torture ourselves for this. Um, yeah, so well, Just please leave a like. <laughs> please. And please. if we get how many likes for this video? I don't know. I don't know how many likes we're going to get. If we get a thousand likes... A thousand? <laughs> if we get a thousand likes, we will do something like this, but even worse. What do you mean even worse? What's worse than the being boodled? Find something even worse to do. Sour challenge? Yeah, we'll do the sour challenge. If we get yes. a thousand likes, our next challenge is the sour challenge. So, yeah. please, do... The amount of likes, and we'll do that challenge for you. After all the talks we had, we should get a thousand likes. Yes, we should. <laughs> uh, and then we'll just make you laugh when we if we get a thousand likes. <laughs> we'll, we'll make you laugh with the faces that we make for the sour challenge. Yeah. Okay? Because you just leave the faces of us. Peace out. <laughs> Peace. That's not even my outro. I know, but oh well. <laughs> all right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe for more... Um, for more challenge videos and more gaming videos... Before you close, I'm going to eat one more just randomly. Alright. Just do it. Actually, we should do it at the same time to conclude the video. Ah! Yeah? Yeah, in a minute. Oh, Three, two, two, one. one. Down the hatch. <laughs> I've got lime. <laughs> at least you got a good one. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right. See you later, guys. <laughs>